When you reach step six in photography, you will automatically be in edit mode. If you are not, click the select and edit arrow, the second from the top right, and then click anywhere on the drawing. You can still zoom in by placing the cursor over the area you want to see and turning the mouse wheel up. Zoom out by turning the mouse wheel down. You can see all the photos at once by clicking the Zoom Extents icon. If you don't have a mouse wheel, you can select the Zoom window icon to the left of the Zoom Extents icon and drag a window around the area you want to zoom in on. Drag the partitions in the Garment Assistant to see all the help text. The first thing you want to do is set all the horizontal levels by dragging the red horizontal lines to the correct place on your body. Hover your cursor over the line until it turns into a four-way arrow. Click and hold and drag the line to the correct location. The top of the head is already placed, but you can readjust it if you need to. Place the mid-head at approximately the eye level. Place the center back neck level at the horizontal level of your back neck bone marking. You can zoom with the mouse wheel while you have the line selected. Place the shoulder at the average of your shoulder level in the front and back views. The purpose of this is mainly to set the mid armhole level, which is placed automatically halfway between the shoulder and armhole levels. Place the center front neck level at the horizontal line of your front neck marking. The mid armhole level is automatically placed. Place the armhole level at an average of your armhole markings. Place the bust level at the fullest point of your bust in the side view. Check the bust level on the other side view. Place the underbust level at the average of your underbust markings. The waist level is already placed in both upper and lower photos. The high hip is automatically placed halfway between your waist and hip. Place the hip level at the fullest point of your bum in the side views. Place the crotch level at your marking or at the lowest point of the crotch in the front view. In this leotard, I can just barely see the space where light is coming through. Place the upper thigh at the fullest point of your upper thighs. The mid thigh is placed automatically. Place the knee level at the center of your kneecaps. Use all views to place the calf level at the average fullest point of your calves. Place the ankle level at the narrowest point of your ankle using all views. To center the body outline over your body, click and hold and drag the yellow nodes horizontally. Do this for all photos. Click and hold and drag the dark blue nodes horizontally to change the width of the outline. Now 
Now you need to click and hold and drag each of the orange nodes along the level lines to the edge of your body. Some of you may prefer to adjust both the orange nodes together with the smooth nodes in the next step. There is nothing wrong with that. This is just the way I prefer to work. The waist nodes are not attached to the waist level line. Place them at the edge of your body at the waist elastic. Place the armhole nodes at your armhole markings. Place the full length node at the top of your shoulder neck tape. Try to get a reliable neck shape for collars, but don't spend too much time on the head, especially the face, because there aren't enough nodes to trace your face. Make adjustments as needed. I know my leotard sticks out here, so I will bring my outline in slightly. Place the side neck node at the edge of the body at the neck tape. Place the shoulder armhole node at the armhole mark at the edge of the body. Place the center front neck node at the center front mark. Place the mid armhole nodes at the armhole marking. Place the apex nodes at the apex markings. At the bust and armhole levels, I am making allowances for the leotard again. It would be better for accuracy if you can see your actual body lines. I forgot to place the center front waist node at the center front marking. I will fix that when editing the smooth nodes. In the side view, if you can see both legs, only follow the leg closest to the camera. You can move multiple nodes at the same time by dragging a selection window around them. Here I am making several windows by holding the shift key. Avoid the yellow and dark blue nodes. Click outside the drawing to deselect the window.